One, two, three, four. Olympic Four groovy Georgians move every part of their body to win this hottie. I'm not sure he knows how to move the one that counts. Jeff comes over and starts licking my neck. Jeff is an absolute tool shed. Nick comes in there. Whoa. Jump right up on the bar, start taking it off. I was completely shocked. Booyah! Three get the X, one gets the date. I grabbed that scrawny little dork and I moved him out of the way. That one cool, man. It all starts now. A limit day. One. <laughs> I'm Marin. I'm a digital media student at the University of Georgia. I think the best word to describe me is that I'm optimistic. I'm always trying to look at the brighter side of things and my cup is always half full. I love art. I love to draw. I'm the type of girl that's very independent. My mom taught me to rely on myself and that's just what I've done. I'm looking for the kind of guy that has manners. Have you seen the guys lately? None of them have manners. A limit day. <laughs> For round one, I'm going to take the guys to Cafe Tutu Tango. We're going to start off with a few drinks and a little bit of get to know you and kind of find out who these guys are. I'm looking for a smart, hot girl who likes to get wasted and then she'd be the one. My name's Eric and I'm a student in flight school and not only am I a member of the Mile High Club, I'm also the president. Hello. Hello. I'm Eric. It's definitely a I'm pleasure Marin. to meet you. Nice to meet you. There's a difference between confidence and cockiness. Confidence is knowing that I can take you home tonight. Cockiness is telling you like I just did. My name is Nathaniel. I work at Macaroni Grill. I'm a waiter and I get a lot of tips because I'm sweet on the ladies. Hi. Hi, I'm Nathaniel. Hi, Nathaniel. I'm Marin. I little limerick. Have you Thank heard you. that it's never too late to answer the call of your fate? Well, soon you'll see that we're meant to be uh, tonight on the show, Elim. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, Nathaniel. I like Nathaniel. I liked his crazy, curly hair. I like guys with crazy, curly hair. When I walked around the corner, I was like, bang, smoking, you know? I hope these guys don't even turn their heads, because if they do, I'm going home with this girl. My name's Nick. Uh, I'm a student at Life University, and I'm also on the hockey team. How you doing? Hello. Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas, nice to meet you. Marin. Marin, you didn't have to bring your help. I would have oh, wow. Well, <laughs> I like the tan, crew cut, top gun looking type. It's going to be a hard decision with Nicholas, definitely. I kind of think of myself as the young, cute guy behind the bar. Looks a little shy and innocent, but I'm really not. My name is Jeff. I'm a bartender at the hottest club in Atlanta called Tangier, and I'm also a student at Reinhardt College. Hello, I'm Marin. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank you very That's much. Really well Jeff, he had that tight little body kind of backstreet boy look going on. And I dig that. <laughs> let's sure. get this party started. Let's We're get gonna it on. so let's go. Reva, <laughs> let's get it on. The guys might think that we're just going to Cafe Tutu Tango for drinks, but uh, I'm going to see if they're honest, to have manners, and if they can make me laugh. Thank you very much. You're such a gentleman. Jeff opened the door for me, and that is definitely a plus. So as soon as we got into Cafe Tutu Tango, we headed straight for the bar. Why don't you all impress me with your bartending skills? I can do that. Can you let me make it? Yeah, I'm that's yeah, let's it. I have, I have a favorite drink, actually. It's called the Marinator. The Marinator? Well... Do you think you're up for making a drink? That was too quick of a move, man. He just jumped right behind the bar. It did show a little spontaneity. The Marinator. The Marinator. It's my own specialty. Okay, well, tell me how to make it, and I'll do it for you. It has vodka, okay. triple sec, mm -hmm. cranberry juice, blackberry flavored liqueur and amaretto. I was the first one to make Marin a drink, and then we both took a shot. That's pretty impressive, you guys. Is that good? That is pretty impressive. And she enjoyed it. It was pretty, pretty good. What's that again? I'm, I'm making that. No, I'm going to make one for her. I'm going to see if I can do it. Mm. Excuse me. Do you think you can beat that? But then Nicholas stepped behind the bar, and he made me the marinator. That is a good shot. It was very good. The champion's going to prevail. And I came in and uh, never bartended a day in my life. Oh, my goodness. I would have to say his was better. Oh! You pretty much showed him up. I think she liked that. They liked the fact that I just took initiative. I must say, it was the best marinator I've had next to my own. I'll take a beer, man. I'll get back there and make it something better. 
You can work back there. So I'm what, work out here. So That's you're quiet. I'm a little bit quiet. What are you going to do? I have a degree from University of Georgia, and we're currently right now. University of Georgia? Go dog. I'm a dog fan. Hey, hey, hey. And, uh, Something in common already, huh? Sick, there we go. And, what was and uh, right now I'm in flight school to be a pilot. That's uh, awesome. Always had a thing for pilots. You won't be around, though. See, I'll work for myself. Eight days a month is all I have to work. That's all right. I'll deliver the papers to everybody. You can just see me and you can work, make us money. What do you do? Talk. I talk a lot. I know, but what are you a salesman? <laughs> yeah, I'm selling this right here right now. You believe in your product? <laughs> salesman have to believe in their product. It's, uh, it's Nick, I don't know what the deal is. He thinks I know how to pick up a girl, you know. All I have to do is spike my hair and work out a little bit. <laughs> Meathead! What would I be surprised to learn about each and every one of you and make you different from each other? I can move every body part on my body. A lot of people can't do that. Can you do this? I'm really curious to see what other parts of his body he can move at the same time. I can move every body part on my body. Oh, I mean. I'm not sure he knows how to move the one that counts. What about you? Um, I think you'd be surprised to find that I've just been about everywhere you wanted to go. I spent the last three years of life, my life dedicating myself just to traveling around and seeing the world. Wow. Wow. And what about you? Well, I think the good thing about a surprise is waiting for it. I could say, oh, I'm very romantic and spontaneous, and I'm just acting like this because there's three guys around, but I think it would be something you'd want to wait for. Nicholas is a smooth talker, but he's full of crap, if you know what I mean. My turn. Actually, you might be surprised to know that uh, being a bartender in Atlanta, most girls think that, you know, a bartender, you know, he, every night he gets girls hitting on him and this and that and he can go home with a girl every night and um, all the other bartenders are different because they actually they are you know they are male whores and I'm not I actually I could I could be like that but I'm not well you know what if you're not a whore you won't bring it up Jeff is an easy target because I mean he's trying too hard a little too cocky for my taste coming up who will Mary cut first I think Nathaniel is definitely going to get eliminated. I predict Eric is going to get the X. I think Eric or Nathaniel will be one of the two to first be eliminated. I believe that Eric's going to get cut because he's not speaking. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Marin will eliminate first? Eric, Nathaniel, Nicholas, or Jeff? I'm going to have to eliminate one of you. And, um... I'm, uh, I'm afraid it's going to have to be Eric. I cut Eric because he was a little bit too quiet for me. He, he, quite, he didn't speak up as much as I, I wanted him to. If I had to do over it again, there's nothing I would do any bit different. Eric kind of handled the cut the way he handled the date. He just kind of faded away. You know, Eric was a cool guy, but he just didn't talk enough. You gotta speak, you gotta whisper sweet nothings in their ear. Sorry, Eric. Truthfully, I don't know what to say about Marin's decision, like the R.E.M. song, Everybody Hurts, so I'm just going to cry my way out of here. For the next round, we're going to stay at Cafe Tutu Tango for some sangria, appetizers, and a little bit more talk. I love the art, I love to draw, and I really wanted to see what kind of taste these guys actually had and, and what they had to say about what's hanging on the walls here. So does anyone have like a creative side? Well, I don't know, I kind of hate to admit it, but I, uh, I like to decorate my apartment. I've got everything set really? up and yeah, actually, so. You know, maybe you think it's bad, start, but... I mean, I like to decorate. Jeff is an absolute tool shed. You know, I mean, if you want to be a wimp, that's fine. I like that little feminine kind of creative side. I think that's really cute. Well, I can play you a song right now. Really? Well, let's hear it. All right. All right, fellas. Should have took your time Uh-oh. Well, he lost his seat. Musicians are definitely really? up there. Gotcha. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, athletes kind of tie in there also. <laughs> All right, let's make it sure. All right, I want to dedicate this song to Marin, because I ain't sharing. I must say that I was very touched, and I kind of blushed a little bit. <laughs> this definitely scores some points, you guys. Oh 
Nathaniel's performance was kind of, uh, it was gutsy, but on the other hand, it was kind of cheesy. I really like you. Marin, let's leave this zoo. I think Nathaniel had some balls to get up there and play a song for her on stage, but I, I just, I don't think that's appropriate for the first date. Don't forget to say goodbye to Sue. Now, All right, Marin. I do believe my guitar playing scored me big points because, you know, I seized the moment. That deserves a hug. One of the main reasons I wanted to stay at Cafe Tutu Tango for the second round was because of all the great art. I was kind of interested in uh, what y'all thought about the artwork here, so I kind of wanted to take a second for y'all to pick out what was your favorite okay. and bring it back to me. All right. I really wanted to see what kind of taste these guys had and what they had to say about what's actually hanging on the walls here. Oh wow, that's interesting. Let's start with you. Okay, I chose this because um, the picture is very wild and actually, you know, that's just like you. <laughs> you know, you kind of took words right out of my mouth sometimes. I didn't see a wild. So. I feel like he just kind of pulled something off the wall because he just kind of had to. <laughs> when I turned it upside down, I saw someone up in heaven looking down upon you and I amongst the people. And this is the fireworks being shot on the beach at Ariel View. <laughs> you see it, don't you? Actually, that looks like your shirt, that's your neck, and that's your hair piece right there. It really had nothing to do with the situation he was describing, had nothing to do with her. Let's hear it. I picked uh, this painting because both my houses at home are on the water, and I'm always a person who likes pine trees and trees and lakes, and I kind of just visioned myself out there wakeboarding and skiing. I feel like Nicholas was trying to impress me with his material wealth, and I'm not necessarily looking for a sugar daddy. What would you say the sexiest thing about you is? Definitely that yeah, I'm a, a great Your sex appeal. A great kisser. I mean, this guy has no intent to become sexual with a woman at all. Matter of fact, I think he made out with his hand for about nine years. Here, show you. I was completely shocked. I saw it in her eyes. There was just nothing intimate about it at all. I went for it all, and I can either make you or break you. We'll see. It's all in the lips. It's how you use your lips. Actually, it's not all in the lips. It it's is. a little bit how firm you can hold a woman's head and try at least to take it through. between the lips. That's Let where me the show energy you. passes. Let me show you. Hold on. First thing is you got to take a full handful. My head. Nick, on the other hand, there was a little bit more to his kiss. You know what I'm saying? Nick comes in there, and I'm like, God knows this kid better have a breath man in. I'm not gonna kiss your lips after these two guys did, but you know, I know exactly where a girl likes to be touched, actually. Oh. Hey, don't give her a hickey <laughs> Her dad's from Texas. Nope. Decided to get on her neck and just kind of nibble on her neck and her ear, and it uh, looked like she really liked it. Hickey risk. This is the first date. I just don't think that she went for that. Jeff comes over and starts licking my neck. I turned a bright shade of pink. I know I did. Who will Marin cut next? I think Jeff will definitely be the next one to be eliminated. I think Nick will be eliminated in this round. I believe Jeff has hung himself. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Marin going to eliminate next? Nathaniel, Nicholas, or Jeff? Um, I'm going to have to eliminate one of you, of course. And it is going to be Jeff. I'm sorry. OK. Well, it was nice to meet you. It was very nice right, to meet I'll you. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm actually kind of shocked about Marin's decision. I didn't, I really didn't think I was going to get cut. I think Jeff handled it well when he was cut, you know? I mean, he bowed out gracefully, so it's cool of him. Marin, I'm sorry you didn't pick me, but if you ever want to go out again in the future, I'm not going to go out with you. After Cafe 
Cafe Tutu Tango, the boys and I changed into club clothes and headed off to the Paradox. You look very, yes. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I mean, the tie, that's, that's... She knew she had it going on, and I definitely wish that whole outfit was made out of licorice, because I'd be like... Eating it off because she was banging. I saw her back was open. I was like, Dizam! I say we do a toast to not only you because you are so awesome, but of course you because you've been such a man about the way we've been hacking each other. So let's do it. You ready? Nick was saving face when he started toasting me, saying, you know, cheers, you're a great guy, Nathaniel. Here's to you, man. What is that about? That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, I want one. I don't want to give you a fizz, I give you a body shot. We started off with some very interesting conversation. Have y'all ever had a girl strip for you? Yes. Really? Have, have you ever stripped for a girl? Of course. My I have. What do you want to strip for me? Marin asked us to strip. I jumped right up on the bar, started taking it off. Nick came over there, started like trying to take the attention off me but I caught her glancing every now and then up at me. When Nathaniel started to take off his belt, I was actually kind of nervous. I thought maybe, just maybe, it was gonna get kind of bad. I tell you what, we made fire and it was awesome. I was very shocked that those clothes came off so fast like they did. We both kind of like got into it. I think uh, she enjoyed the whole fact that I was assertive. And I am ready to dance, so. I'm so ready to go dance. Let's go in there and kick it. Let's do it. You ready? When I went out on the dance floor with this girl, I was just like, oh my God, this girl is smoking. In. And all of a sudden, Nick picks me up and sets me on the other side of Atlanta. That wasn't cool, man. I grabbed that scrawny little dork and I moved him out of the way and let her know that I was the one. I thought it was really funny when Nicholas picked up Nathaniel and moved him out of the way so that he could dance with me and then picked me up and started dancing with me. I thought that was really funny. really had a great time dancing with the guys on the dance floor. I thought they had a lot of energy. I was just like all, all about her body, all the black outfit, the blonde hair. Booyah! Will it be Nicholas or Nathaniel? Marin's final cut is next. A limited. <laughs> Night. This night was really kicking. I had so much fun with you oh, guys. Man. And uh, I think we're going to have to come down to an elimination. Uh oh. And I'm, I'm really going to hate to part with one of you, but it's going to have to be you, Nicholas. That's all right. Hate to see you come. Let me ask you why. What's up? I'm really looking for someone who can make me laugh. Good. Someone who I can just have a good time with and someone I can be comfortable around. And I feel like Nathaniel can do that. All right. Look, uh, Nathaniel. Don't hate me because you ain't me. <laughs> Marin, by not picking me, is definitely going to miss out on a good time. I think some good advice to Nicholas would be to not be so aggressive or forward next time um, towards girls as fast. I've done everything I wanted to, and if uh, it didn't work, and if it doesn't work, I'm ready to move on to the next stage with Oliver. <laughs>